in recent years there's been a steady influx of immigrants into Cape Town, many fleeing hotspots across Africa. They may have nothing when they get here, but many have rebuilt their lives and more. Since Maiga Abgulai came in 1996, he's built a thriving clothing store business. He misses family and friends back home in Timbuktu, but has no plans to return. There must be a reason why you want to stay at home. I'm not able to go back because there's nothing for you to go back there. As a port city, Cape Town has been a melting pot of peoples for centuries. You can clearly see how different African cultures are making their imprint here in recent years. Settling into a new country can be traumatic and a very tough learning experience. Fatiha Mohammed came here four years ago from Sudan and he's still getting used to his status in South Africa. The woman here is not like uh, at home. At home, really, our woman is very soft. The woman just his wife uh, is a housewife. But here in uh, South Africa, the woman is a strong woman, really. This is what I like. It's not all good news, of course. There have been attacks on immigrants in several parts of South Africa amid claims that they are taking work away from local people. Rules are also being tightened for those trying to get into the country. It's become far more difficult for new asylum seekers because of a potential government crackdown on those abusing the system. Many of those that have come here have built new lives for themselves. Davis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.